This this one actually, I have to shout out Maximilian because uh, he was talking about training stages and how he hates training stage. And apparently, I did not know this, that a lot of people don't like training stage. I did not know that. It's not something I really stress about. I totally understand it. And I, I think the reason too is just a lot of games that I play, they don't have a training stage really. So like this game does not have a training stage, right? It has Sky Tower, Random, Ruins, Lava, you know. And I can't really fault people for using training stage. Uh, mostly because as uh, he correctly said, it's there's just like no distractions. There's a lot of visible clarity. Uh, or sorry, visual, visible, visual clarity. Uh, it is definitely way more prevalent in Street Fighter than anime games. We tend to use like a pillar style stage. So uh, if I had to think of an example, I would say, yeah. So in anime games, anime games have a lot of this. There's like a pillar stage where there's not a lot of stuff going on. Blaze Blue has one stage like this. Persona has like two. This type of thing is pretty common. Or like I played Melty, for example, too. So Melty Blood, Mel Melty Blood, like in CC, they, they just don't have a lot of stuff going on. Like, OK, it's foggy. All the stages are like outside at night all the time. So uh, there's never anything like really distract. There's a couple of stages that are like kind of annoying, like the fire stage. But for the most part, it's all this. So like this stage is actually all good. Uh, once again, and once again, Lord Max, please play Blaze Blue or Melty Blood. You are asking, you're begging to play these fucking games, honestly. Instead of talking about training stage, because it's not that much of an issue. Uh, I feel like in anime games, luckily, uh, and again, it's this definitely a complaint that I I really uh, feel. Instead, I want to talk about obviously cursed stages, and the reason why I even thought of this in the first place was I had a really bad experience actually playing, uh, actually doing this. I had a really, really bad experience in this matchup here in particular. Here, in the volcano stage. And that, that's when I tweeted the other day when I was like, oh, Enchantress is banned on the volcano stage. Just straight up banned on the volcano stage. So why don't I like the stage? Why, what is really annoying about this stage? So, it is really dark. Oh, she's super short. And it's really hard to see. A lot of her animations are like, like dark things. Everything she does is, is like black. This move especially is just really, really, really hard to see on this stage. It's very, very hard to see a lot of her moves. That one is especially obnoxious, but she has a couple of moves like that. Yo. So specifically, the guy who I played was playing this color, which is all already like pretty dark, and then like she has a lot of dark moves. So luck luckily, it doesn't seem like they change color based on her color, but I still feel like it was like really, really hard to see. This thing I really, really dislike. Um, another stage, if we, thankfully by the way, this is like the only example in this game. I think overall you can just play on any stage. I don't really think any of the stages lag. Someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. The second Mega Curse stage. You guys probably will not see this one coming, by the way. My only thing I can say is please put on your 240p, 360p glasses right now. Yup. Yes, sir. It's fucking Onet. And this, in this specific example too, this is game five of winner's finals. It's game five. I got counterpicked in game five. At, I was a Marth player. I got counterpicked by the opponent Fox on game five on this fucking stage. This stage is cursed. If you don't play this game, you know platform fighters, they're supposed to be like an edge where you can fall off. But this is a this is a walk-off stage. Uh, Marth is just like, I mean, a lot of characters just get hoed on the stage. Now, I think it's just been banned forever, but this this was tournament legal when I was playing in tournaments. This this is this is game five winners finals. Game five winners finals. I'm playing on this piece of shit stage. <laughs> the thing is, Fox like because stages like this existed, you had to have a Fox because if you don't play Fox, you just lose. I think that's that's the logic they use to just ban a lot of these stages because Fox is too good on all these stages. It's just way 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 too good on all these stages. Uh, by now, I think it's pretty established that like. I, I mean, I, I will not say I'm not like uh, super deep in Smash, but to my knowledge, a lot of these types of stages are just gone. Like, the people don't even mess around with them anymore. Um, 
po I mean, Poker Floats was legal when I played. Rainbow Cruise was legal. There was a lot of stages that just like denied mad characters. It's like you just had to have a fox. Yeah, you had to, had to, had to, had to, had to have a fox to play on these stages. This stage is mega cursed. I will continue to be cursed, and I am lucky for today's players that they do not have to deal with this. It's this. This stage is so cap. This stage, there is a reason. If you don't watch Arcade Exert, you basically will never see this stage. Everybody hates this stage. Everybody, I, I fucking, I don't know what they were thinking. And they had a chance to just get rid of this, and they still kept it. This is Axel stage from Exert. You're on a moving train, and there's shit moving around the whole time. I used to get dizzy. We're, we're not even playing. Like, it's, it's Exert. So Exert is a fast game. So, like, imagine, like, all the, the super fast Exert movement, right? Uh, my buttons are not set, but who, gives, who cares, right? And it's just this. And they, they, and they just let it rot. Maybe they thought that no one plays Axel, so you would never have to see this. So I actually played the best the best Guilty Gear player in Okinawa is an Axel player. I forget his name, unfortunately. And the worst part, the, basically the best part of playing him was when he beat me, because then we got to play on a normal stage. Because <laughs> I would win a couple, and I would be like, oh my god, like, I'm actually getting Vertigo playing on this fucking stage. This stage is cap. I really dislike when they do moving stages, but it's actually pretty rare. Like, I can't really think of another fighting game off the top of my head, at least, that has... Like, I, I, there's, like, characters maybe walking around and stuff, but maybe not actively moving and things flying and a witch appears and stuff like that. Like, that, that's just all too much. I really, really, really dislike it. Street Fighter Five Planes... Oh, my God. Yes, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that, you can tell I didn't play SF5, right? And speaking of which, while we're on Exert, there's actually... Because for, for the most part, I would say... A lot of people's stages they dislike if it's not like training stage because again like, yeah, training stage is, is good it's just the repetitiveness of it right so volcano stages like uh destroy namek would be another one would be an example of that and then there's just obviously super cursed shit like onet uh and smash and things like that uh these moving stages which is just too much shit moving around and and you're moving around at the same time but low key this this stage is soft man this is Milia's, the Milia stage. M Milia, for some reason, in Exer, just decided she wanted to be in the woods all the time. So, why? So, you may have heard it's water stages. For whatever reason, water stages always end up being cursed. It's either, like, there's something you can't see, or it's laggy, or something. So, one, unfortunately, this stage is actually really beautiful. I really like the stage. But, um, this is one of the stages that, because of the water... You know, uh, sometimes it drops frames every now and then. But the true, true fear of this stage comes from Chip. Uh, I have no idea what the input phrase move is. We gotta, there it is. So you can't, it is extra, 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 extra hard to see where Chip is and find me on this stage, water stages in particular. So I used to avoid playing on this stage at all costs. At all costs, he's extra good on this stage. I know there's a Street Fighter V beach stage where you can't see some moves or things like that uh, from like Nikali, I think. So this is like the same type of thing. This one is uncommon, but water stages usually it's either it's laggy or someone has some thing that they could abuse. Yeah, one thing I'll give Blaze Blue is that Blaze Blue stages overall are like fine, and there's like not a lot of annoying like. You don't have to really worry about delay that much. You have a bunch of options for... Because that game does have a training stage. But it has like multiple pillar stages. And uh, actually, you know, this is Buddha Blaze Blue. What am I doing? By the way, Blaze, Blaze Blue wins once again, by the way. The, the only game that wins more than Blaze Blue is KI, I think. <laughs> Frankly, I think the only game that wins more than BB is KI. Because every time people complain about shit, like Blaze Blue did it right. So the game does have a training mode stage, but there's so many stages. Like, this is like a tournament stage. Guilty Gear actually also has a tournament stage. That, that's its own discussion. This one is one that there's not a lot of stuff going on. This one is stuff that there's not a lot of stuff going on. Easy to see. There's a lot of stages where there's not a ton of stuff going on. And it's easy to see. And there are cases like... There's uh, another tournament stage, by the way. But there's cases like this. We have to go back. This is the pillar stage. So there is like the active version and like the inactive version. So like there, there are versions of stages where you can make it have more or less things going on at the same time. 
uh, one of my favorites would probably be Cathedral, right? So there is there are empty versions. This is the CF version. There are empty versions of this. I actually like the ones where there are all the people who are watching you who are really mad. But if you don't want anything going on, you can actually select a version of the stage that has just nothing going on. And uh, I actually, uh, I think this would be such a good compromise in some games, especially because like, I'm sure you want the stages to be different and you want different things to be going on in the stages. But then the people who are playing the games are like, man, there's too much shit going on and we can't tell what's going on. Why the fuck am I on a magic train, bro? Like, I don't need that shit. So I think Blaze Blue letting you literally pick the version of the stage that you want is really really ahead of the game 